Hi, this is Jason Bogor with LA Networks. I'm a principal engineer here. Uh, we're at Los Angeles-based Cisco VAR. And in ACI for Network Engineers today, we're going to be looking at out-of-band management. Now, when I say out-of-band management, I'm not talking a console port. I'm really talking IP out-of-band. On a server, you might think of a SIMC port or a, a DRAC or an ILO. Or in NXOS, you're probably used to the Management Zero interface. Um, this is very similar, right? So the spines and leaves all have an equivalent of a management zero interface. And of course, the uh, APIC controllers are UCS servers, so they have IP out of band interfaces. So today we're going to be taking a look at how to configure those interfaces. It's a fairly straightforward process. There's one little thing at the end that we want to be sure that we kind of just cover and um, other than that though it's quite straightforward and it'll be pretty easy for you to do so let's go ahead and get started on configuring it okay so let's go ahead and configure out of band management for our fabric so as i mentioned before that's going to be taken care of under the management tenant so if i just come down here and i go into my management tenant down below, we'll see that we have an item for node management addresses. If I expand that, you see we have an item for static node management addresses. Okay, And if I click on that, we'll notice that there are no addresses. So right now I have, uh, I have no management addresses on any of my devices. Or if I do have them, the APIC sure isn't aware of it, right? Now, uh, from here, you can right click and choose create static node management address. And that's how I will probably do that in all of these videos. I'm kind of a right click junkie. You can achieve the exact same thing in the main pane by clicking the down arrow on the actions. Anything that's available on any object through a right click is also available through the actions, okay? So if I right click here and I go create static node management address, Okay, and what do I need to create addresses for? Well, I need to create addresses for my three apix, my two spines, and my two leaves. Okay, so now you'll notice that there's a, a range. It says, what's my node range from? Okay, and um, I could say I want to go from one, you know, to three and do all my apex at once I'm not going to recommend you do that I'm going to recommend that the range always be you know from one to one basically so the reason being is if I do a, a larger range it takes out of that infrastructure pool I mentioned earlier and randomly assigns an IP address to a device okay and typically we want to go from you know, node one to node one or node two to node two. On the node numbering, the apex, the first hundred numbers of node IDs are re reserved for the apex. So in our case, we have apex one, two, and three. That's actually corresponding to node one, node two, and node three. Okay. And our spines, you can have currently up to six spines, but I've reserved a hundred just to keep it easy. And so my spines are going to be 101 and two, uh, 101 and 102. Sorry, and my leaves start at 201. Now, currently, I could have up to 200 leaves, and that'll certainly grow. So those start at 201, 202. Okay. So when I do node range one to one, that's really referring to node ID one to one, which maps directly to APIC one. Okay. I'm going to do out of band. You're almost always going to do out of band. By the way. I'm going to go ahead and put in his address. So I don't have an out. This is a simulator. I don't have an out-of-band network. But if I pretend I did, it might be out in like the 172.16.1. We'll call him um, dot one because he's node one, for example, right? His gateway is 172.16.1.254. Okay. Uh, oh, I have this little exclamation point telling me something's wrong it says invalid ip v4 address notice it is looking for a slash right so if i come in and i do slash 24 it's gone okay so look for those little red exclamation marks they're letting you know 
And then if I click Submit, it's letting me know it's going to assign um, a new address here. I'm actually not going to submit this. If you submitted this, it would take effect right away. As you can tell, the simulator has already assigned an address in here. This is just uh, something with the simulator. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. However, it won't hurt for me to do it for, uh, say, one of my spines. So if you recall, my spine is 101. I'll just do 101 to 101. This time I'll remember to do slash 24. His gateway is still 172.16.1.254, right? Submit. And sure enough, here you can see it pop up. And um, as you add more and more of these, they just all populate here. And it creates a um, an out-of-band management uh, group for you to call in other management functions so that you can source your traffic from the out-of-band management uh, address group. And we'll take a look at that in the next video on NTP. So thanks a lot for watching. And let me know if you have any comments.